welcome back to 100 Miles, Animals, Author, and Art, one of our many programs. I'm Stephanie, and we are excited today to be reading The Town of Turtle by Michelle Cuevas. Let's get started. Turtle lived in part of the world as empty as a bird's nest in December. Turtle's best and only friend was his shadow. Shadow, Turtle would say, looking down. From here, you look just like a puddle. Or, Shadow, is this the very street we first met? The shy Shadow made no reply. Needless to say, Turtle spent a lot of time in his shell. It was very dark inside. As dark as the inside of a closed flower. As dark as the underside of a bell. But in the dark, Turtle dreamed. Turtle dreamed about a better home, so he decided to make some renovations to his shell. He started by ordering some paint to brighten his walls. I guess I'm sort of a green, but not green green, said Turtle, looking at paint samples. Not as bright as grass or as a lily shoot, but not as dark as evergreen or say envy. When he finished, he had an entire bucket of fern, laurel, and moss green paint left over. So he decided to build a very small deck, just to use up the extra paint. He employed the use of levers, pulleys, and old-fashioned turtle know-how. Well, the deck looked just delightful. If he had neighbors, Turtle would invite them over for a picnic. But what would they use to toast marshmallows? Hmm, perhaps the deck needed a fireplace. So the turtle built one of those too. The fireplace, Turtle realized, needed wood. So he decided to plant a garden with trees. The garden, he realized, would need a pond. The pond, of course, would need lily pads and a boat dock and a boat. When he finished, what a view. Turtle realized there should be a house to enjoy it. So he built some of those as well. But houses aren't much fun without other places nearby. Turtle built a library and a school and an ice skating rink. He built a wax museum, an aquarium, and a ferris wheel, glittering at the top of it all along the clouds. Turtle kept building until the last drop of sunshine and paint. He looked down at his new shadow and smiled. Why, shadow, he said, I hardly recognize you. After all that work, Turtle needed to take a long nap. He happened to be an especially deep sleeper. When Turtle slept, he slept the sleep of a broken pocket watch, and he dreamed he had friends who lived in the town he had built. As Turtle slumbered, a particular thing happened. The dream, feeling brave, ventured out into the world. Folks began to gather, speaking in excited hums and whispers. What is this? asked the baker. Looks like the most beautiful town, said the inventor. A town just waiting to be moved into, said the mailman. And you know what? That's just what they did. A painter, a sailor, and a ballerina came first. Then a topiarist, a hot air balloonist, and a tight rope riding unicyclist. The wind moved into the trees Laughter moved into the houses, and the light moved into the dark.
when Turtle finally awoke from his long, long nap, he was shocked, but also delighted. Sometimes, thought Turtle, the world you dream can come alive all around you. That night, when Turtle was tucked cozy into his shell, he called out to his town. He called good night to the painter, good night to the sailor, good night to the ballerina, the mailman, the inventor, the baker, good night to the one tight rope riding unicyclist. Good night to the wind and the laughter and the light. Good night to everyone, everyone in the town of Turtle. Well, that was a wonderful story, and now we're going to move on to our turtle craft. And now it's time for our craft. And like the lead character in our book was a turtle, we're going to make a turtle today. So we're going to need any sort of construction paper, craft paper that you have in lots of different colors, a scissor, something to trace with, glue and this can be liquid glue or it can be a glue stick that might be easier and then markers pencils crayons anything even glitter um, for decoration and then um, if you have googly eyes or we're gonna need eyes um, like, like last time I have buttons so we're gonna use buttons so first thing oh and don't forget uh, some sort of plate or some circle that you can trace with in order to make the show so I'm gonna take this and I am gonna start with some pink paper you're just gonna take that Put the plate down in the middle and this is because i cannot draw a circle so we are just going to trace one you got your circle and then you're just going to cut it out along that line that you just made okay now we have a nice circle i'm going to fold it in half and then i'm just going to cut along that line to make two halves of my turtle shell So you have your two halves of your turtle shell. You can put that onto the side for right now. Then you're going to need to make four legs for your turtle um, so with any other color. So I have this and in order to make them about the same size, I'm just gonna fold in half, fold it half again, crease it. And then I'm just gonna cut along those fold lines just like we did before. Cut this one in half. I'm going to stack them on top of each other to make this next step a little easier. I'm actually going to trim them a little bit, make them a little smaller. And then just I'm going to round out the top so they look like little feet. And so you should have four feet. You're also going to want to make a head for your turtle and some sort of tail. So I just cut a little triangle out for the tail. Put those all to the side. So now you can start, you can start decorating your shell in any way you see fit. So once you have finished decorating your turtle, and don't forget to be as creative as you can, because remember the turtle in our story, he had a great imagination when he was creating his town. So go for it. So I've done all my decorating, and now I'm gonna take one of my sides, but turning it upside down. So you have the decoration on the outside. And then I'm gonna grab those legs and my head and my tail from earlier and get our glue. And I'm just gonna put a line of glue along the bottom or the cut side. And then we're just going to layer our legs. Evenly as possible down the turtle shell. And then you can decide which side you wanna be the head and the tail. So we're gonna add dots of glue. And then the tail. And then we're gonna add more glue along it. 
we're just going to make a, like a little sandwich and cover it up with the other side of our turtle shell. Well, and then you're gonna let it dry for a minute, but luckily I made one earlier, so we're just gonna fast forward. Now we're going to um, decorate the head of our turtle. So however you wanna do your face, I had these buttons that were pink, so I'm gonna do that. Also, I'm gonna add a mouth. And I'm gonna flip it over. And do the same on the other side. Like that. And so, um, and you can also, if you want, add um, toes to your turtle legs. You can decorate these any way you want. This is your art project, so be as creative as you want. And then, in order to make this turtle stand up, we're going to take these legs and alternate folding them back and forth. So once that glue dries, you'll be easy. They'll, they'll stay where they are. And then ta-da! Now you have your own turtle like the one in our story. So thank you so much for joining us again for Animals, Authors, and Art. And we hope to see you in another one of our digital programs soon. Thanks!